Hi guys, welcome back to Methods James. So we have learned how to calculate the definite integral. Integral from a to b of fx actually is equal to the big fb minus big fa. And the big f function is the antiderivative of the small fx. So we're going to try to solve a problem to practice using this formula. So we have this problem right here. So the green curve in this coordinate is the graph of the function y is equal to the force root of x. Red line over here is y is equal to what? So the question actually actually asked us to find this area that I'm shading with purple. Actually, there are two ways to find the area over here. The first method is to consider this area as the difference between this square and the area under the curve of y is equal to the fourth root of x. We're going to name the area that we are finding s is equal to the area of the square, which is 1 times one, which is one, minus the area of the curve, which actually is a definite integral of this function from zero to one, right? So integral from zero to one of the function, the fourth root of x uh, with respect to x. And let's just calculate this a little bit. So one minus uh, antiderivative of this function actually is uh, four over five times x raised to the power of five over four, which is one over five. That's the area that we are finding. Another method for us to find the area, we can try to rotate the function. Actually, uh, we can consider, so if y is equal to the fourth root of uh, x, then x is equal to y raised to the power. In this graph, you can consider the horizontal one as the y-axis and the vertical one as the x-axis. So then this curve is the graph of the function x is equal to y raised to the power 4. All right, and then the area actually we're finding is here, this purple area. We're gonna consider uh, we're gonna consider this purple area as uh, the definite integral of the function y raised to the power of four from zero to one with respect to the variable y, not x anymore, right? So uh, the area is gonna be uh, s is equal to the definite integral from zero to one of the function y raised to the power of four with respect to y. So the antiderivative of y raised to the power of 4 actually is 1 over 5 times y raised to the power of 5. We can notate it as uh, from 0 to 1, which is 1 over 5 times 1 raised to the power of 5 minus 0 raised to the power of 5, which is also 1 over 5. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.